Uh, I am happy that the Western companies, because this General Electric is a big company, that's what I was told. They have got a, 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 a what do you call a turnover of 120 billion US dollars. Uh, one of their subsidiaries is involved and they are backing the consortium because they sell equipment and, and they have got an interest in it. So I'm very happy that the Western, because Africa has got a big potential, we are working from this side, sort of the irrationalities which we were here, there were irrationalities of policy, not welcoming the private sector. That one we have sorted out. That's why in the 1960s, private companies were confiscated by the state. Why? Why do you confiscate private uh, companies? We have been solving the issue of a fragmented market. Africa is huge. It will be the biggest uh, economic block in the future but it was fragmented in 53 small markets, coinciding with the, the 53 former colonies. That one we are sorting out. We are uniting the markets, we are uniting the... So therefore, Africa is going to be a very huge uh, powerhouse in terms of business. So I say this is now waking up so if the Western companies are waking up, the Chinese have already woken up. They are really, really, really very active and fast. So why not take advantage of both? Why not take advantage of both? Why do you, because these Western companies actually there's some sort of advantage. Because with the Chinese, our advantage is ideological. We are fighting against the domination together. It is historical, I would even call it historical. But with the Western groups, we, 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 we should, there is the history, first of all, we, we are historically linked to, to some of them. But also, I don't speak Chinese, I speak English. So communication is, it should be a bit easier. And this marks the end of the selection process that commenced in January 2017 for the investor uh, that would develop, finance, construct, and operate the oil refinery.